And next time comes now. First things first, war assets. So we got an update on the Turian fleet, or Terminus fleet. The Rachni workers are now apart. The Shadow Broker uh, wet squad. Anything else new? Nope. Something new from Alliance. Rogue fighter pilots. Krogan. The grunt. <laughs> Love that grunt. I don't remember if this auto throws me into a mission, so I'm going to make a save real fast. Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Hey, Rexy boy. Need something, Shepard? Okay, nothing new for you. That's it for now, Rex. <clears throat> yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. He got you in the quad, didn't he? The area to evac another colony? Losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have colonies. Neither does Cerberus. If they did, we could drop an asteroid on them. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Work is never you know, done. My lab studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with no timeline, the ability to control workers, and at close range. The Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long-range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. That being said, we do remember... Uh, Binning evidence. So if Cerberus is attacking Binning, then we should probably take a look into it. Finally get that poor dude some closure. Commander. Trainer. Don't worry. 
worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as flabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, Shepard. Edie. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Yeah. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Commander. Joker. Go check that computator. As I'm sure there's a new message. Wow, really? Okay. Crew deck. Morden. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Okay, nothing new. Nice talk. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud. Eve. Something else, Commander? Mm, doesn't look like it. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Anything still back here? No? Okay. about Garrus. You have any uh, opinions on our baby boy grunt? Where the fuck are you, Garrus? In the lounge, okay. But you know what? I haven't talked to Chakwas in a bit. Where is she? Crew quarters. So let's sweep the sweep sweep. Have we found any new engineers for the crucible glyph? Five ex Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Any upgrades? Nope. Couple new messages. Dr. Locke. Liara. Busy. I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but... None will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. 
That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Perhaps we can talk later. At your service. So we got another thing just uh, cropped up over here. Let's take a look. We actually got a few now. Uh, let's see. I don't need to reassign powers. Oh. Is it? Okay, yeah, here we go. So, warp ammo is now available thanks to Liara. I could also get fortification, armor pierce ammo, slam, dominate, or lash. Dominate's an interesting one. I remember having a bit of fun with it, but I very much like having flare on. It's just, it's better. Sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Well, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Hello, Commander. Adams. Jacquez. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Commander. Jacquez. Hey, Garrus. Wasn't the first time we've faced Ragnai. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. I mean... That about sums it up pretty accurately. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. If I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Another time, maybe. Another time it is. Alright. Bend an ear down in engineering. Or ear engineering? That's bad. So, Arachni, that must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic, but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Allers? Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? Nope. Let me know when we do. Spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. 
but our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions, so we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. Arachni proved the universe favors the strong. Our cycle tried to exterminate them, then yours, and they still survived. I would prefer to be alone. So the whole Rachni thing, honestly, it's less getting them to fight with us against the Reapers and more taking away their ability to generate endless troops. It's unfortunate we had to sacrifice Grunt's entire platoon, but choices had to be made. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. Everything okay, Shepard? Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. Okay. James. Rachni? Of all the things that... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. <laughs> You're better looking at me. Hey. Yo. Hey. Yo. All right. We'll be back in a moment, because there's something I want to go check. Alright. Wasn't anything doing there. Might as well go on and check out our fishes and uh, ships we've just picked up. Slowly getting our collection on. Still missing one over there. And looks like maybe two over here. Still no mail. And yeah, no, Grunt's not a part of our party. Uh, unfortunate. Hey, fishies. Have some food. Wow, look at them thriving now that they don't have to worry about me just absolutely fucking them. Got our chessboard. And... Well, really, that's... that's uh, I miss you, Space Amtaro. We'll see y'all next time.